Greetings, my name is Walt Woodard and I am the Global Sales Director for InfoSense, the Charlotte, North Carolina-based manufacturer of equipment for the acoustic inspection of gravity sewers. I want to talk to you today about how acoustic inspection technology can help utilities tr transition from their current time-based or reactionary sewer line maintenance programs into a strategic condition-based maintenance program. Also, to share with you the benefits that this shift can provide from a resource allocation and system per performance perspective. We'll cover the following topics at a high level today in about 10 to 12 minutes. So during this brief presentation, I'm going to talk about the current time-based maintenance practices, a new strategic condition-based maintenance practice, the technology that enables the practice of a condition-based maintenance program, and a case study from a municipality that has moved from this traditional time-based system and into a condition-based maintenance system. And finally, the implications of why using acoustic inspection technology to prioritize sewer maintenance makes sense. So let's get started. Currently, most mu municipal sewer utilities employ a time-based cleaning program, which usually requires three to five years to complete a cycle through their system. Normally, geographic areas are prioritized based on any number of factors, such as historical problems, the age of pipes, restaurant activity, and so forth. And in this way, are selected to come up on a system cleaning rotation plan to determine which lines or areas to clean and inspect. Crews are deployed to clean the entire neighborhood or basin, regardless of the amount of debris in the sewer lines, frequently cleaning already clean pipes. This type of cleaning protocol may also include a hotspot program, whereby, secret, whereby select lines are cleaned more frequently, typically due to prior SSO issues. Typically, we might see a time-based strategy that looks something like this. Say we're focused on year two of our rotation, cleaning rotation, we're cleaning all the pipes in that area. Well, while we are cleaning in the year two quadrant, there is a blockage building up in the year four quadrant. However, because we are so focused on our time-based maintenance in quadrant two, we'll not be aware that quadrant four has this brewing problem. We have to hope that it doesn't become an SSO within the next two years based on this strategy, as we won't get back there until that time. We have a mismatch between what we are doing and what needs to be done. As we just said, time-based cleaning leads to a mismatch in resource allocations. It is a simple method for planning work, and up until now, it has been the best approach available to ensure that the sewer system is maintained. But as point one indicates, it leads to cleaning many pipes that do not need to be cleaned. And even when the pipes are clean, the ability to have a feedback loop on pipe condition is difficult to implement for the field crews and is inherently subjective in nature, i.e., did the pipe really need maintenance? Additionally, the vehicles required to clean the municipal sewer systems typically clean about 1,000, 3,000 feet of pipe per day. They cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and are noisy and dangerous, challenging to operate in residential neighborhoods. Hence, you only want to use them when absolutely necessary. And finally, hotspot programs. They are administratively and operationally taxing and almost invariably lead to significant overcleaning of prior problem pipes while ignoring future problem pipes. Alternatively, development of acoustic inspection technology has allowed municipalities to proactively screen their systems broadly for blockage conditions and move from a costly resource-consuming time-based system into a more efficient and effective condition-based maintenance strategy which economically and objectively focuses resources on only the pipes that have issues. Now let's take a look at this condition-based strategy. Two-person crews are deployed and by using acoustic inspection technology, they can identify the specific sewer line segments that need immediate attention. Each pipe segment receives a red, yellow, or green rating and can be visualized based on GPS as we show in this real world example. The results of the acoustic inspection determine which of these lines need the immediate attention for a prioritized condition-based cleaning or CCTV inspection. As shown here, as with the data compiled from several hundred municipalities spread around the globe, representing over 200 million feet of pipe inspections, 
shows time and again that only about 10 to 30 percent of a given system needs immediate attention. This histogram from, follows from our prior discussion. It shows the acoustic scores along the horizontal or x-axis and the number of pipes receiving that score along the vertical or y-axis. The acoustic score for a segment is based on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 indicates a complete blockage or a pipe belly, and a 10 indicates significant capacity for excess flow. Again, this data shows more than 200 million feet of pipe inspections and shows that only about 10 to 20% of a given system needs immediate attention, while 70 to 80% are in fairly good condition requiring no immediate cleaning or maintenance action. It's the old 80-20 rule. Bottom line, the vast majority of the small diameter pipes are functioning properly. Therefore, time-based maintenance protocol often leads to spending too much time and effort in overcleaning good pipes while missing problematic pipes in other areas. So a broad, low resolution and rapid assessment view using acoustic inspection can help solve this problem. So where does this acoustic technology fit into your current inspection tool portfolio? We see it as fitting between a traditional manual inspection and camera technologies. And because the test requires no flow contact and takes less than three minutes, it can be the perfect accompaniment to an existing manhole inspection program. Think of acoustic inspection as another tool in the toolkit, not to replace CCTV or cleaning, but as an aid to help prioritize their deployment to help extend the life of these other valuable and expensive assets. Now, what is this acoustic inspection technology? It was developed with a National Science Foundation grant and was initially released in 2012. It uses acoustic technology to assess sewer line blockages by employing a clever acoustic rating system of zero to 10 to assess the amount of blockage in the length of sewer line. Normally, if sound can get through the pipe, then flow can get through the pipe. Also, it's been evaluated in a US EPA report in 2014 and has been, been determined to be a viable piece of inspection equipment. Currently, it's in use by hundreds of utilities and engineering firms worldwide and part of the ASTM inspection protocol. Now, how does the technology work? There are two pieces of equipment placed on adjacent manholes. A transmitter that yells down the manhole in the free space above the flow in the pipe segment, and a receiver that listens for the known message that the transmitter is sending. Since they sit on top of the manholes, no flow contact or confined space entry is made. The scoring system is based on how much of the known message is distorted or dissipated when the receiver is listening. Obstructions or anomalies dissipate the sound energy. It's quick, taking less than three minutes to get a result in the field. And the clever scoring system used to score the pipe on a zero to 10 scale uses a pattern matching algorithm analogous to how Netflix or Amazon uses your prior shopping experience to suggest a product or movie. The data includes GPS coordinates and a timestamp for each measurement. It can be tied to asset, asset IDs in the field using a smartphone app. Once the test has concluded, crews can then move on to the next sewer line segment. So it's not uncommon for crews to acoustically inspect 10 to 15,000 feet of pipe per day at about one-tenth or one-twentieth the cost of CCTV. We like to further simplify the zero to 10 scale into a very actionable red light, yellow light, and green light view. While different utilities derive their own thresholds of where to initiate their cleaning or CCTV protocol, we typically see that a zero to three score should get immediate attention. Of course, a zero means that no sound was perceived by the receiver and it is likely an obstructed pipe. A score of four to six represents a fair score or a yellow light, and that the pipe is operating with some excess flow capacity but should be considered for further action once all the red light pipes have been addressed. A score of seven to 10 gives a rating of a good pipe and it is not in need of immediate cleaning or additional inspection activity. After the two person teams have gone out and collected measurements, the data can be captured in the utility's own private secure cloud-based portal called the SL Dog or Sewer Line Data Organizer. From there, the data can be edited, archived, visualized, and exported to industry standard shape GIS systems, 
CSV files, Google Earth Maps, or PDF files. Data collected in the field using the smartphone app is integrated with the acoustic inspection data for managing field crew activity, as well as data quality management and quality assurance. Next, I'd like to share with you a case study about how Little Rock, Arkansas has moved from a time-based maintenance program to a condition-based maintenance grant program, as we have been discussing. They were able to make this transition with no change in headcount and improved cleaning effectiveness and a verifiable improvement in system performance. Further, verifying the benefits of using an acoustic inspection program to screen their system for blockage conditions on a regular basis. A quick overview shows that Little Rock, Arkansas serves a population of about 200,000 people with about 1,100 miles of gravity sewer lanes that are less, lines that are less than 18 inch diameters which is the si size of the pipe where an acoustic inspection program should be focused, six to 18 inches. So between 2016 and 2019, Little Rock developed the capacity to acoustically screen their entire 1100 mile small diameter collection system on a 12 to 15 month repeating cycle. They did this by using eight acoustic inspection units. And while no increases have been, no cost increases have been incurred, Annual maintenance has increased from cleaning the TV in 40% of their system per year to currently screening 100% of their system using acoustics. They decided to make this change because their consumer order with the Arkansas River Keepers required them to stay under 60 sanitary sewer overflow counts per year. And with cleaning 40% of their system with each year with a time-based strategy, they're running very close to that limit and about to exceed it. They, call, they saw acoustic inspection as the enabling technology to change their maintenance strategy and to achieve improved operational and system performance. So in their first full year of implementation, acoustic inspection allowed them to get through approximately 90% or about 1,000 miles of their system. As a comparison, they only had the capacity to clean approximately 250 miles of sewer line and CCTV inspect about 120 miles during that same time period. Again, because the acoustic inspection is so fast and it provides for a broader low resolution view of blockage condition anomalies in each line segment of the system, helping to focus where those CCTV and cleaning trucks are to, are to be deployed. Remember the histogram and the 80-20 rule? The 250 miles of cleaning that would, they would, could achieve represents about 25% of their system. They just need to know exactly where to go clean. So what's the effectiveness of employing this new technology? As can be seen in the graphic, there was a 21% reduction in cleaning man hours. However, no work crews were displaced because they were reorganized to accommodate uh, the use of this acoustic inspection technology. But most interesting, there was a 32% reduction in the amount of linear footage cleaned while removing over twice the amount of debris. They effectively stopped cleaning clean pipe by using the acoustic inspection data to direct their cleaning efforts. Also, by the second year of its usage, they had reduced their SSO counts by approximately 60%. This is now well below the amount of SSOs that their consent order allowed. So in conclusion, Using an acoustic technology to move from a conventional time-based cleaning program to a strategic condition-based maintenance program makes sense both economically and environmentally to help reduce costs, eliminate unnecessary cleaning, improve system performance, and to conserve valuable water, TV, and cleaning resources. So thank you for your time today, and I hope that you can get some thought about how moving into a condition-based maintenance program using acoustic inspection technology can be very beneficial. Additional resources about acoustic inspection technology are available at these web links. So now, please have a good and safe day.